What's up, Bucket Hat crew? My name's JMT, and welcome to the Silence Game Mode video. After eight hours of waiting for this Silence Game Mode, it is finally here. We get to experience the fog-covered map of church. Probably the worst map to play on for silence because it's smaller than my IQ level, but we have arrived and we are here to conquer. The silence game mode is the new mode that was just introduced in the last update, the Xmas update of Survive the Night, and basically here's a little description of what this game mode entails. So in the new mode silence, breakable lights have been disabled. There is thick fog and there is no ambience. Breakable lights, by the way, for people who don't know, let's say if the slasher was to come near your location and there were lights around you, they would break and kind of letting you know that, hey, the slasher is on his way to you. You should probably get out of that location. It also brings thick fog and there is no ambience. It's called ambience, GMT. What are you, stupid? And for those who don't know the definition of ambience, hey Siri, what does ambience mean? Ambiance means the character and atmosphere of a place. Thank you, baby girl. No problem. So basically, the atmosphere is what you hear in the background of a game, such as faucets dripping or eerie echoes or the merch Snapchatting Ayla. It could be anything, all right? Without ambience, it does bring a challenge, not only to us, but to the killer as well. It is really dead silent though. <laughs> I could legit hear someone right now if they munch on a potato chip, but here we are inside of this new silence mode on the church map. And yes, it is insanely foggy. I really can't see anyone if they were like five feet from me. This mode took an extremely long time to get. Like I said, I was waiting here for a very long time. I was actually playing the game Devour and I had STN opened on my other monitor just waiting to try to get to this mode. I mean, I was getting Blood Moon constantly and Daylight constantly. It was those two modes I was getting all the time. I feel like this mode is not as difficult as everyone is making it seem to be because I literally won this mode on the church map and it's literally just from rotation, which is what I've been learning to do and what I've been trying to teach others to to do as well inside of Survive the Night. It's all about rotation, okay? Even though there is no ambience and there's just thick fog everywhere and breakable lights are disabled, doesn't mean you still can't win the game. This entire gameplay is just me going in a circle and winning, which is super small. I think it's actually the smallest map. And if Church isn't the smallest map, then it's definitely Shipyard. It's one of the two, okay? They're both small, but the Church is also more open as well. You get the fog and you get the tall grass in the game. It makes for a good horror movie scene. But with as thick as this fog is, playing this mode I didn't even see the killer once, especially when I heard my heartbeat go like insanely skyrocket. I still didn't even know where he was. I didn't even see him because it also disables the red glow around the slasher. You don't even see the red glow around him. So if he's right next to you, you have no idea. He literally just comes right out of the fog and he's like, how you doing? All right, take a knife to the neck bone. I didn't even use my lamp at all. So I don't know if the lamp actually like affects how you play in this mode. I, I don't know if that's even a thing. If the lamp affects anything. I bet if you turn your lamp on, it would just make the fog brighter and it really, it wouldn't really help you out. But hey, it was worth a try. I think the best way to win on silence is just to rotate and learn the maps well. Like if you know the map you're on and then it's a silence game mode, you should be just fine if you continue doing what your rotation is on, on that certain map or just learning how to rotate in general. It should help you out quite a bit in playing silence since breakable lights have been disabled and there's no ambience. But there's also two things as well inside of this new silence game mode and that is the slasher detect cooldown has been reduced and survivors are much quieter. So not only is all that stuff being disabled, but now your breathing is actually much quieter as well. So it makes it extremely hard for the killer to actually go ahead and find out where you are. That's why when I was right next to the killer, I didn't even know he was there, but my heartbeat was extremely up. I couldn't even see him. He probably didn't know I was there either because the breathing is much quieter for all survivors. With all this being disabled and all those effects that they're putting into this game mode, kind of making it difficult for the killer in general, they had the slasher detect cooldown reduced by a lot. I think the slasher, if he was to consistently detect every time it would like, the cooldown would go out, he could probably detect like, two times an hour, somewhere around that. I don't think it's exactly two times an hour. It's probably like, I wanna say three times every two hours, something like that, but he can detect quite a bit now. And so with that being enabled, this actually helps you learn the maps in a rotation pattern because detection is gonna be a thing now. He's gonna know where you're at. So you kinda gotta move and rotate based off of where you where you were, okay? If you do get detected, you gotta understand that, hey, the slasher's probably gonna come to this location and you gotta decide whether or not to actually stand still or continue moving. What I learned that helped me a little bit is when he did detect, I would just stand still, making it seem like I was there. And then a little bit 
after the text would go off the screen saying that you were detected where you shouldn't be detected anymore, then I just start moving again. It worked a lot in this church map. The killer came right to my location and he still couldn't find me because of the detection wasn't really working out for him because I bamboozled the boy. Yeah, I know. Give me my crown. I deserve it. Normally, we don't survive and survive the night. You know, we don't even do what the title says because I'm just that bad at the game. However, your boy today went sweat mode. We got the lamp. So here is the fog lamp. It's nothing too special. The only thing that I'd say that makes it stand out from other lamps is that it has a little fog effect thing. I don't know the description of it, okay? Don't get mad at me. I like it when these lamps have effects, okay? I don't like it when it's just a standard lamp that you pull out and it's just the same thing and it's just like a different model or whatever. But with this and having that little fog effect, it makes me want to wear it. So that's awesome. And it makes you want to beat the game mode as well. If you get a cool lamp for beating one of these game modes, Silence has a cool lamp. Other than that, guys, that's pretty much the Silence game mode. If you guys do have any questions about this Silence game mode or just any questions in general about STN, leave them in the comments down below. I'll do my best to try to find them and answer them for you guys. But anyways, that's gonna be it for me. My name's JMT, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.